want everybody to have a bolster. Stacy and I will pass them out of the closet. And you're going to sit against the wall on a bolster and bring a brick with you. Wiggle your butt all the way back into the wall so you get your sacrum right up against the wall. Okay? Or sometimes ponies get in the way. You just have to see if it gets in the way. Alright, now from there, turn your knees out and bring your feet in. And put your feet in the middle. So here's the interesting thing. My knees also are just slightly above the crease of my head. You see that? Now because of who I am, I know that I can work them and get them down a little bit and make them so they're even. But if I can't get them even, then I'm working against gravity rather than with gravity. So then the, what would be useful to do would be to take a blanket and put another lift underneath your buttocks. Okay. So you have to, you want to wiggle the flesh out from under your buttocks and sit back. And then you can turn your thigh in. You can turn the flesh of your thigh in. Mm -hmm. And now you want to think of your feet pressing into each other. But you're going to release from the inner groin to the knee. Turn the skin around your knee and then pull from the back of the knee into your buttocks without narrowing your pelvic floor. And you can use your hands to help create the counter lift, the balancing lift from behind the pubic bone in and up. So my organs are still going toward my spine and supporting the length of my spine. I'm not hardening my organs, I'm using my organs to support my spine and lifting from the Behind the pubis up to the chest. Put your shoulders relaxed. Put your shoulders relaxed. Good big stretch, yes or no? Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, you got the idea. Now release. Bring your knees in. Stretch your legs out. Shake them out a minute. And then bend the knees again, and this time, put the feet on top of your brick. Yes. And then you're very glad the wall is there. <laughs> right? And you can hold on to your ankles. If you're slipping, just hold on. Isn't it fun? Now again, think of drawing from the outer knee into the hip to draw the legs down. And let the feet connect to each other. They connect. So even pressure in with the right heel and the left heel. Even connection with the toes to the best of your ability. And look again inside and see which leg is high. You got it, Hannah. So when you have one side that's really high, what, what you can do is you can hold on to your belly with one hand with the opposite hand. Pull your belly away from the, sh the higher knee and then turn the leg out and work it down. Turn it out and work it down. So you're pressing on those muscles to help it go down. You see she creates space in the hip joint. Gradually. Gradually. Depending on how often you practice, depends on how long it will take for you to create that balance in your hips. Alright, now remove your feet. Stretch your legs out again, shake them out. Oh. <laughs> We're going to do one more. One more. This time the brick is going to be between your feet. So it's this way. The long way or the tall way? The short uh, way. Flat. Okay. Yeah, just like mine. Just copy this. So it's nice and wide. Now, if it's really gripping in your groins, because your knees are real, everybody's knees are going to be higher, right? And so if it's really gripping in your groin, there's a trick. You want to know the trick? Yeah. It's called somatic release work. And the trick is, if you put your palm right on top of your kneecap, 
and the other kneecap. And then isometrically push your thigh bone into the socket. So push in and lift your navel. Lift from below your navel. So if you push in, it feels very secure and it releases some of the tension. Yes? Doesn't that feel good? It releases some of that tension. Uh -huh. And then let go. Ah, and then stretch your legs out. It feels good, doesn't it? You like this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So better than that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then without the bridge, go back to position A. Slide your butt back again, get yourself even on your sit bones, and look and see if you're more open. Lift from below the navel, just above the pubic area. Are you more open? Mm -hmm. Does the hips let go a little bit? Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and just raise your arms up and lift your side body like you're doing down dog. Raise up. And if you're lucky enough to be here, you can grab the pole. <laughs> <laughs> and just be open. Okay? And exhale, take your arms down. And pick up one leg, and then pick up the other. Take them out. 